All right, everyone, we are closing out the year of 2021. Yes, believe it or not, it is the end of 2021. And we're going to do so with another retro game and toy hunt. And this time we are at Hot Spot Toys in Brownsburg, Indiana. And this is kind of just a one off thing because, you know, I've, I've got some other stuff, some less positive stuff, let's say. Let's even just say there are a bunch of sad flea markets that I want to put in a video. And I don't think Hotspot Toys deserves to be in the company of a bunch of sad flea markets where like, you know, an entire booth is just like empty bottles of Clorox bleach. Hotspot Toys is an actual store, even though it looks like you're kind of going into a garage slash stock room. But once you get in there, you are surrounded by all of this retro goodness. And we're going back from the late 70s to the 80s to the 90s, all the way to 2021. There's a good selection of everything here, and it's just a really great store. The vibe of the store is just chill. It's nice. It feels like you're going into an old toy store, and that's that's the thing. It just feels like a store. How many of these places have I been in like the last year or two since we've been doing this, where it just feels like you're going into your uncle's old moldy basement, and you know you could be finding like this old Captain Power thing, but it's next to a box of old porn VHS tapes. This one actually feels like a store, and I enjoy that. And it seems like the owner enjoys that as well. The guy, he'll sit there and talk to you about anything, but it's obvious that he really enjoys what he does. He likes the toys, he likes the stuff he collects, and he throws them out there at a nice price. And he actually curates them to something where you don't have to dig through a, a box and worry about that you're going to stick yourself with an old needle or something. What I'm trying to say is Hotspot Toys is a nice store. And if you're in Brownsburg, Indiana, I think it's worth checking out. There's a lot here to go through. And again, like it's not like you gotta really dig for anything. It's all out there. It's all on these walls. It's all in these nice plastic bags. It's just lovely. Going over here, he's obviously got a, a collection of comic books as well as this glass. Well, you got the games over there. We'll get to that in just a second. But what he's got here in this glass case really caught my eye. I don't see this very often anywhere. It's a collection of micro machines. And I'm sure all of you remember micro machines. They were everywhere, but I was especially into them. I loved micro machines, especially like these creature carriers with like the alligators and lions and shit in them. This was all, this was the tops for me as a kid. I don't even like car toys and stuff, but man, I loved micro machines. It's that old aircraft carrier and this gas station that turned into like a big playset. It was just so much fun. I just, I don't know, make anything small and I will really enjoy that as a toy. Coming over here to the decidedly less interesting video game section, uh, we got, you know, your standard selection of stuff. We, you know, he's got that, those old like 80s handheld games. I enjoy those. I had a football version of one of those. It was nigh on incomprehensible, but you know, it made sounds when you pressed the buttons. And as a kid, that's all that mattered to me. The rest over here though, got your inbox, GoldenEye and Star Wars and stuff like that. Kind of a lot of stuff that you just see everywhere else. Also this talk boy right here, just randomly right there. I don't know, talk boys are great. <laughs> I don't know if anybody had a talk boy back in the day. I, I, I thought it was really cool to be able to record my voice and I'm still doing it to this day, I guess. Over here in the video games, we've got a PlayStation 3 fat. Those are getting kind of hard to find anymore. And I can guarantee that down the road in the next maybe like five, six, seven years, those are going to be very collectible. And I'm still shocked that this old PlayStation 2 Mini is still fairly cheap. It's a great PlayStation 2. If, the, if you want to get a PlayStation 2, get this little buddy right here. But back here, you got, he's got the old Marvel figures and stuff. It's not my thing, but it's... I know a lot of people that are really into collecting like the older, like late 70s, early 80s Marvel toys uh, and figures that came out back then. Over here though, I love me some Garbage Pail Kids and he's got a few. I wish I would have known how collectible those were because I actually decided as a kid once one night that I was just going to take all of them and stick them on my grandma's refrigerator. 
because I thought she would be super excited to see an entire refrigerator filled with garbage pail kids. And she was not, she was not very happy about that. And I still wish I would have kept those cards because they're very expensive these days and I kind of miss them. He's got the Transformers and stuff back here, but nothing that I'm willing to pay a lot of money for, though that old G1 Optimus back there is pretty nice. Up here we got some big Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and I'm just not a fan of big toys. You know, going back to the Micro Machines, I like my stuff small. Please don't misconstrue any of this, but I didn't have much room as a kid, so I had to keep what I had in tiny spaces. I couldn't go up and get like a fucking six foot tall turtle and stick it around. I just didn't have the room for it. And that's going to do it for Hotspot Toys. Again, I just kind of want to throw this out as a one-off thing before we get to the real crap in the next video. But still, I really enjoyed this place. It's a great little store to go through. Any store that actually reminds me of an old toy store gets a thumbs up for me. So, bravo Hotspot Toys if you are ever in Brownsburg, Indiana. And I can't imagine why you would be. But still, if you're there, check out Hotspot Toys. Maybe make a trip to it. It's worth it. You know, it's a cool little store. Say hello to the owner. Kind of forget his name, but he's a cool guy. Anyway, we'll be back next time with yet another retro game and toy hunt, probably with a whole bunch of sad flea markets to close 2021 out with, which kind of just, you know, that's what 2021's been like, one big sad flea market. But again, thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you next time.